Good evening, everybody. My name is John. I'm a weapon of mass instruction. Today is Thursday, uh, December 6th. Yeah, that's it. 2012. <laughs> it's about 6.20 in the evening. And uh, I'm going to try to make this quick because I'm on my way to pick up my daughter uh, from school. But uh, it's mighty interesting that... Uh, a corner of my mind is screaming at the rest of me because I'm looking into all this stuff and I'm developing my viewpoint of the world and the universe and, and our place in it and, and what we can do with it. And I want to thank you uh, to, again, I can't remember names, but two videos ago when I was talking about the uh, message that I picked up from the tarot cards. Uh, thank you to the people who commented and basically let me know that I'm not freaking crazy. <laughs> um, thanks to whoever watched that long ass video. Uh, the last one I sent up because uh, you know, it, yeah, it was it was it was extremely long, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna break it down and uh, get into each part of it and, and explain what I'm. What, what each part of it really means to me. So that hopefully you could get you could get something out of it rather than just listening to me drone on for 45 minutes or whatever. Um, so yeah, but th thank you for basically telling me that I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, you know, and I, I've been I've been questioning things and I've been looking deeper into these things, the, the nature of the universe. I actually stumbled on um, this guy's channel a while back, STG Magic, and I think the reason why I stumbled onto it was because he was doing a magic trick, uh, 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 an illusion. Uh, it was just, you know, some, some illusion, some stage magic, and it wasn't such a big deal, but like, he basically, that little bit of illusion was... Uh, a perfect way to explain, I think it was the uh, QE3, uh, the, the quantitative easing, uh, and the dollar collapse. But he actually just released a video about, um, about magic, M-A-G-I-C-K. Um, or some people like to call it sorcery. Although, like, even nowadays, you can, you know, there's still a negative connotation there to differentiate it from stage magic or illusion. And uh, I think he did a really good job in, in uh, you know, 10 minutes or so of explaining things. Uh, but, but he tipped, he, well, he tipped the viewers off. But me, personally, as a viewer who was trying to pay attention and listen and uh, actually understand what he was talking about... Um, to a text called the uh, Kybalion, K-Y-B-A-L-I-O-N. That's Kilo, Yankee, Bravo, Alpha, Lima, India, Oscar, November. Um, so I started reading this text, and I'm, I'm just barely through what would be considered the first page. I actually, um, if anybody out there is using an Android phone, uh, anything running the Android operating system, and you're interested in these things that I'm talking about now, the esoteric, the possibility of magic to uh, influence reality as we see it. Um, there's an app that I found called... Uh, oh, crap. I think it's called SO Texts Plus, or SO books plus um, but I just looked up tarot magic and I, and I went down the list and I found it uh, but yeah like it, basically it's a huge compilation of a lot a lot of uh, esoteric literature I'm not even exactly sure what esoteric means but uh, that I've heard it described as subject the occult or uh, you know the the hermetic uh, 
lot of disciplines. A lot of stuff in there, including, and I was I was a little bit shocked to see this, uh, the entirety of Dante's Divine Comedy. <laughs> I remember reading Inferno, and that was like a really awesome graphic idea, uh, and I loved it. But uh, yeah, oh. some guy hitchhiking, and I'm sorry, but I'm running late. If I wasn't worried about picking up my daughter, I would totally pick you up. <sighs> Best of luck to you. Best of fortune. I do that sometimes, and I know it's not a terribly bright idea picking up hitchhikers, but because of the fact that I carry damn near everywhere I go, um, and I am at least somewhat <clears throat> handy when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat, I could probably deal with somebody who decided to get froggy in the car. So, you know, when I see people, if, I, if I'm not... If I'm not going somewhere where I absolutely have to be there as fast as possible, if I'm just driving to do whatever, then I usually pick those people up. Because they need help, you know? Um, and, and we are all one. We are all part of the same hole, W-H-O-L-E. Um, you know, so, so by helping some random hitchhiker who needs to get from point A to point B but lacks a, a, an efficient means with which to do so, you know, I'm not only helping them, I'm helping myself and I'm helping everybody else in a very indirect way. But you know what? It's, it's true. Karma. Karma is what it is. It's, it's, you know, by doing positive deeds all around, be it mundane things like picking up somebody who needs a ride to, you know, using energy to send positive vibes to somebody to help brighten their day to giving somebody a circle of protection uh, to, you know, to keep them from getting harmed to whatever if you're doing it for a positive goal, you're going to affect things in a positive way. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that because lately I've been doing a lot of that searching and I, and I stumbled onto all that stuff and it's, it's, it's a wellspring of, of, of good things to read. Uh, and, and you know, it, just like anything else I read, I'm not going to just straight up believe in it right away. I'm going to absorb it and, and, think about it and and see where where it fits in with common sense and where my thinking might be flawed you know like for example the teachings of Hermes Trismegistos um, you know like thousands and thousands of years ago you know this guy apparently spent his entire life studying these subjects so, you know, so, something tells me he might know a little bit more than, than me, who's just jumping in. Um, but again, nobody's perfect, and there are plenty of sources out there who are not as trustworthy as the masses would li like to believe. Like mainstream media, for example. That's just a blatant example, right? Right, right out there in front of our faces, they, they freaking lie and tell half-truths all the time for the sake of their corporate masters. But you know what? Like, some people are doing what they do uh, because they love to do it, and some people are doing it because they're getting paid to, because they're freaking, it's a living. You know what? But yeah, like today, I uh, found another magic shop, and I started talking to one of the uh, proprietors there about all this. And uh, I showed him the book that I'm using, the... Um, portable magic and he said he'd never seen that book before but he he leafed through it and just from leafing through it he was able to tell me like yeah it looks like a pretty legitimate uh thing that you can use you know basically what i explained to him was it seemed to be a, a direct correspondence between uh standard ritual or uh um ceremonial magic to the tarot deck, you know, to use them in lieu of actual objects. And he said, yeah, that's just fine. You know, as long as you can visualize what you're trying to visualize and actualize it and, uh, and actually manifest the energy the way you're supposed to, there's no problem with that. 
turns out this guy's uh, one of his specialties was studying the Kabbalah, which, uh, according to him, uh, predates ancient Israel and the ancient uh, Israelites and the Jews uh, by, you know, nobody knows how long. Basically, according to him, uh, it's been traced back as far back as it could possibly be traced. You know, they ca they simply cannot find any texts written that would that would actually trace it back further. But he has no doubt that it's been with humankind since the birth of humankind. You know, ever since man was intelligent enough and imaginative enough to actually start thinking about things outside of the physical. Um, you know, that's, you know, the Kabbalah has been around for that long. And he says it is a very powerful tool in its own right. And the fact that it's being implemented in such an efficient manner in, uh, in tarot magic lead, leads him to believe that it's, uh, that he, that it's actually something pretty good to go. Um, but yeah, like, you know, uh, um, um, just lately it seems like everybody I'm talking to all of a sudden is on the same page or near the same page as me from, you know, the guy at the magic store. When I explained to him, like how my viewpoint of the universe developed. And when I told him what it, what it feels like now, he's like, yeah, you're right on dude. You know, not in those words exactly, but yeah, he, he basically, um, you know, before I had a chance, before I had a chance to say it, he came right, right out and said, yep, you're, you know, that's, that's the exact right conclusion. We are all one. We are all different, billions of different aspects of one being. We are all connected through the same source of energy and we can all tap into it. So, um, but yeah, that's been happening a lot. And, and some of the people I talk to, as close as they are to me, I, you know, fully expect them to turn around and say, no, you know what, dude, you're crazy. I don't want to ever talk to you again. Peace. You know, but no. Like, you know, t tell my very good friend about this. And my very good friend, you know, I, I fully expected that person to, to turn around and think I was crazy, but that person instead says, no, I'm actually really interested in this stuff. You know, any information that you got is information that I'd like. So I said, that's really cool. And then that person said, you know, just don't overthink it because, uh, like I've started to realize lately, I have a very analytic brain. I have an overly analytic brain and it's, it's a hindrance sometimes. It really is. All right, but that's all I got for you right now. Um, I'm going to go pick up my daughter, and uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to enjoy ourselves, and uh, I'll come back to you as soon as possible, possibly tomorrow morning, with uh, a breakdown of the latest exercise that I've gotten into, which is the circle, along with a quick overview of what I was talking about with the point and ray exercises. And uh, while I'm at it, since I'll be in a, sit in a place where I can actually sit down and show you stuff, um, I'll probably show you uh, the chart of the significators um, so that you could, uh, you could determine for yourself what uh, significator you'd like to use for yourself if you choose to get into any sort of uh, ritual magic using tarot cards. Alright, peace everybody. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.